morning students welcome back to the video class once again today we are going to learn a new topic greenhouse effect before coming to this topic i will introduce you another term that is greenhouse i think that you all how often hear what is a greenhouse a house which is made of glass is known as greenhouse in this greenhouse plants can grow with a restricted temperature but the main peculiarity of this greenhouse is that it allow the sun's rays coming to the glass but block the radiation of heat from it similarly there are also some gases in the atmosphere such as chlorofluorocarbons carbon dioxide methane and water vapor these gases are known as greenhouse gases why because these gases act like the greenhouse which means that these gases allow the sun's rays coming to the earth but it block the radiation of heat from earth into the space means it create a situation in which temperature is increasing with the concentration of greenhouse gases a such a type of a situation is known as a greenhouse effect greenhouse effect causes global warming it also causes melting of glaciers in the polar regions it changes in the pattern of rainfall and an increase in the water of sea and the climatic changes the next topic that you are going to learn is uh, causes of greenhouse there are a number of causes are given we will see this one by one first one is human activities human activities includes industries automobiles and burning of garbage and the second a factor is that chlorofluorocarbons which comes mainly from refrigerator fire extinguishing liquid and foam and another point is that dead plants and animals decompose and give methane and another point is that nitric oxide released by oceans and soils finally a major part of greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide methane and nitric oxide this contribute nearly 72% of greenhouse gas so now we are coming to the another topic global warming it is the greenhouse gases that cause global warming and how the global warming is a depend it is a depend as an increase in mean global temperature it affects all forms of life on the earth and these are caused by both the natural as well as man made factors and we have learned that ozone is present in the stratosphere but this ozone is continuously depleted or get damaged nowadays let us see how this ozone layer is get depleted the ozone layer is very important for the earth why because it protect the earth from the ultraviolet rays coming from the sun but nowadays the ozone layer is becoming very thin or get depleted there are several reasons are attributed to this 
there are certain chemicals that break down or make it disappear the ozone and another reason for the depletion of ozone layer is the burning of forest fuel and the carbon dioxide released by the industries for the carbon monoxide emitted from the automobiles there are certain chemicals which are used in refrigerators and air sol sprays contains chlorofluorocarbons or we can say cf refrigerator is in use cfcs is safely contained in it but when the refrigerator is broke down or thrown away the cfcs are released into the atmosphere so that also causes problems so the next topic that we are going to see is that to the effect of ozone depletion once the ozone layer is depleted or gets damaged it will have far reaching consequences ultraviolet radiations will reach on earth it will affect plant life human beings and marine life and continuous exposure to ultraviolet radiations cause skin cancer infectious diseases and vision problems plankton a plant which is found in oceans or seas get damaged due to the warming of water let us see that what are the solutions to check the ozone depletion both the countries and the individuals can play a vital role in it means we have to restrict the use of things which contains cf c gases for example us has banned the use of sprays contained cf c gases and many countries nowadays are following the suit so what we have to do to check the depletion of ozone layer there are certain suggestions are there let us go through this suggestions i will show you list from this you can see first is that limit private vehicle second is use eco friendly household cleaning product third is avoid using pesticides for this ban the use of dangerous nitrous oxide and to pip is a develop stringent regulations for rocket launching so these are the suggestions are given